Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's recipe is going to be a delicious recipe and it's called Persad with Diwali f um, quickly um, approaching us. Um, I feel like I need to get started on certain recipes um, that people will be using um, to prepare their Diwali sweet meats. Um, I know everyone have their recipes that they like to um, prepare, but this is simply my take on um, some delicious parsad. Although I'm Muslim, um, we grew up in Ghana, we, all holidays we celebrate and we make things and stuff like that. So this is my take on parsad. My family loves parsad. So I know two types of parsad that I personally know of um, where they use uh, make butter parsad or gear parsad. My preference is gear parsad. I truly love the gear parsad. So these are the ingredients we will be using to make our parsad. Here I have some carnation milk. I have here some orange soda. Yes guys, this is different from what you usually use, but I use orange soda in mine. Same as if you would be making sirni. I love the flavor it gives it. I have here some essence. I have here some raisins. Of course, ghee, flour. And in this bowl, I have some um, mustard. Um, what am I saying? Mustard. It's not mustard, guys. It's ginger powder. And I have here um, a cinnamon stick, half a cinnamon stick. As you can see, I went ahead and break open the cinnamon stick because that releases more of the flavor when you break open it and in this um bowl here i have some nutmeg i have some um, cardamom powder and some five spice powder and this is some sugar and we're gonna get right into the process of how i prepare my parsley. Okay, guys first step to this is i pull my um karahi to heat up i have my back stove turned on i put my milk there i want to bring my milk up to temperature and to that i will be adding my cinnamon stick let me just add everything in guys and in goes the sugar in here in goes our essence and our orange soda i am gonna go ahead and quickly combine this guys and it's gonna come up to temperature and as soon as it starts to come up to temperature, we're just going to turn off the heat from it and leave it here. So I'm dissolving the sugar into this. Okay, now we're going to get started with the flour part of it. And I'm going to go ahead and directly add our ghee to this. We want our ghee to start melt down. Scraping everything out of here. In goes our ghee, and we're gonna let this start to melt down before we add our flour and our other ingredients. So I'm gonna see you guys when this is melt down. Okay, guys, my ghee is completely melt down here. Uh, my milk came up to temperature and I just went ahead and turned off the heat from that. So now what we're going to be going to do here, we're going to add our flour to this. And everything I'm using, guys, will be listed in the description box below along with the measurement. And I'm just going to go ahead and start the parching process of the flour with the ghee. And guys, this is looking to me that it needs a little bit of more flour. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna grab some more flour and add it to here. Again, 
everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below. So you guys don't have to worry about uh, making mistakes and have the wrong consistency. So I am just going to go grab some flour and add okay, it. guys, so I went ahead and add the flour to this. And this is what it's looking like. Beautiful consistency so far. And this is what your your um, view and um, flour should look like. And guys, by all means, if you do not want to use ghee and you want to use the butter, you can go ahead and do that. It's the same process. I am just making a little bit. I'm not making a ton as this is just for us home to munch on. But um, if you would like to make more, you can always double the recipe. Double or triple. It's your preference. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my spices here that I have to add. This is our um, ginger powder. You can grate fresh ginger if you would like to. In goes my cardamom, my five spice, spice powder, and my um, nutmeg. And I'm gonna let all the flavors start to incorporate and mix in here. And I would suggest do this in a nice size pan so you can be um, able to move everything around freely. And this is smelling so good. And I'm just like turning my heat to low so this can parch really well. Everyone preference on um, the color of their parsade is different. Some like it darker, some like it um, more of a lighter color. I love mine to be like brown, like nice brown parsade. So I parch my flour a little bit more. And please do not leave the stove while you're doing this. Stick around guys, because you don't want this to um, catch and burn. So you constantly keep on turning it. So I'm gonna keep on doing this process until I feel reach the desired color I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna come back and show you guys as we add our other ingredients. Okay guys, so it's been about um, 10 minutes now that I've been parching my flour and it's coming to the color, the nice color that I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my other ingredients. In goes my raisins here. Raisins is optional, so, um, so is cherry. If you wanna do that, it's optional. My kids don't like cherry, so I would leave it out, out of here. And guys, you have to make sure that you part your flour well. If you don't part your flour well, you're not going to have good part side. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and gradually add our um, milk and... Um, soda mixture here and I'm gonna start combining that in do you see how quickly this is coming together guys and how fluffy it looks that's what you're looking for so I'm just gonna add the rest of our liquid here and we're gonna finish this off I am going to go ahead and turn off my heat because I don't further need the heat. This is good. Look how beautiful this is, guys. Perfect texture. It's so fluffy. It's not dry at all. Beautiful. And it smells amazing. So here you have it guys. This is what our parsad look like. I am going to go ahead and transfer this to a plate for it to cool and then I'm going to come back and show you the texture. This is what our finished parsad looks so like. So soft, 
and fluffy texture wise it's simply perfect guys i hope you guys enjoy this recipe please do not forget to like and subscribe for more amazing recipes from my kitchen to yours i hope to see this recipe on your diwali table enjoy guys